Okay. Thank you so much. I'll catch up for the, uh, for the last time. So we're, we're Leia. Uh, we're a Silicon Valley-based company developing uh, 3D light field technology. Um, and I think uh, I'd like to start the talk like everybody else, defining our own version of the, uh, of the metaverse. It seems to be customary what the metaverse means to us. Uh, it's very simple. The, the future of the internet is being built entirely uh, in 3D. Uh, the goal being uh, to give you a sense, you know, in the, the, in essentially of digital content that is closer to your experience in the real world, or, or, perhaps, or perhaps better, right? Uh, the real world is 3D, the real world has reflections and the feel for textures and lights, and you know, we, you want your, your visual interface to reflect all of, this, uh, all of this beauty of the content, and of course that doesn't transpire through regular 2D displays, right? Uh, so we need a better uh, interface to experience it, it's, it's, it's critical. Uh, and when we talk about immersive displays, everybody thinks of, of VR, right? And VR is awesome, it's immersive. You know, this is the VR conference, so we're not gonna say anything bad about VR. Uh, but we can, we can all agree that it has, you know, some, uh, some downsides. It has, it puts up a barrier, undeniably, between people. Uh, and economically speaking, it's actually fairly slow to adopt, right? You have six billion uh, uh, mobile users today and maybe, you know, 10 to 20 uh, million uh, VR users, so there's a huge, huge gap, right? So um, it's kind of a, you know, a funny situation where the 3D content is being developed much faster uh, than the, the actual interface to, to experience it, right? It's kind of the, the reverse of what we had 10 years ago when we had 3D displays and no content. So it's a you know, really, really kind of funny situation. Um, and uh, we wish that essentially uh, you could access that content, that immersive content on a much more accessible interface, right? Easily to adopt for billions of people, not millions. Um, and this is the mission that we set out to uh, accomplish at, at Leia, developing this 3D uh, light field uh, platform, which we call the window to uh, the metaverse. And it's essentially uh, a platform that gives you natural 3D immersion uh, I wear free, don't need to wear any glasses. It's basically uh, can be adapted on any familiar device, the phone, a tablet, a laptop, monitor, even in cars. You see, we you know we have a partnership there too. Uh, and it's giving you a very natural sense uh, of depth and texture and light. Uh, it gives you a much closer to life experience, a sense of presence, you know, in the, where the, just the previous speaker was talking about the, the, the video chat experience. Um, and uh, most importantly, it's inclusive of people around you. You can tune in, you can look at any display, and you, know, you can turn around and then talk to people in the room, right? You don't have to, to strap the, uh, the device on your head. And we think it's, uh, we think it's a big deal, okay? Uh, so uh, we have our uh, essentially at Leia a combination of uh, nanotechnology uh, that we use to enhance any screen, uh, and uh, we also have uh, the software that goes with it to enable our OEM partners to leverage uh, this new kind of screen property in order to create you know, a lot of a lot of content. Might it be real time rendered content uh, with the likes of Unity or Unreal? Uh, or even, as we'll see, we can turn any video or picture into a, a beautiful 3D light field uh, experience. So it's really going to be for everybody, for every type of, of content. Okay, so uh, how, does, how does the hardware work? Uh, it's actually very simple. After 10 years of R&D and a lot of development and so on, now we make it look simple. Uh, it's a very simple add-on to uh, an LCD display, right? So a traditional LCD display is made of two parts. It has a, an illumination system, which is called a backlight, which is essentially at the, uh, at the bottom here, bottom layer. Um, and it has an LCD panel, which is the, the, the piece that contains the, the pixels, the electronics uh, that form the image. Uh, and all we do is we add a, a second backlight, a second illumination system that we call the DLB layer for diffractive light field backlight. Sounds very, uh, very uh, nice and mysterious. Uh, and what this layer does is that uh, perhaps its nicest property is that when it's not activated, it's completely transparent. Okay, so it disappears. And that property of disappearing is fundamental because it allows us to operate the display in the so-called 2D uh, manner without having uh, a loss of resolution, of brightness, or color. It essentially allows you to get uh, your device to operate in the, in the, in the standard uh, form. Uh, when you do turn it on, uh, it's 
essentially projects what we call the light field, which is a highly structured uh, uh, say field of light, a uh, set of light rays through the LCD uh, panel. Uh, and from there, we derive that awesome immersive uh, feeling that we call the, the 3D light field. Um, the amazing thing is, apart from that layer, all the PCs are completely standard. We, we use regular LCD panel from any vendor without any modification. You use your standard uh, device board. You know, if it's a mobile device, your standard SOC. You know, we, we've worked in the past with several flavor of, of, of the, the Snapdragon. On the Snapdragon, if it's on a PC, your standard motherboard. Everything happens uh, essentially in the software, uh, but you don't need any type of you know modification to your uh, to your hardware. So it's really uh, you know as easy as it gets for OEMs to incorporate the technology into uh, their devices. Recently, uh, we've added uh, essentially uh, head tracking to the experience. So we're keeping that, that diffractive light field backlight, that, that light field hardware, but we're augmenting it uh, with a head tracker. And when you do that, you can actually create a much higher resolution and much more immersive uh, experience that we invite you to uh, check out our booth, uh, booth uh, 125, uh, flash it at the end. Um, and it's, it's really been transformational in terms of the experience. For those of you who have experienced Leia before, either in the, the hydrogen phone or the, or the loom pad, um, I think the, the comment was that you know, the, the resolution was not where people wanted it to be. Uh, perhaps the amount of depth was not where people wanted it to be. Uh, and starting 2022 with the, with the head tracker, I think all of that has, has changed fundamentally. Uh, and it, we're, we're super excited to actually uh, release that, the, the you know, new technology that is augmented uh, with the head tracking. And of course, this is a glimpse that you see on the 2D screen, but you, know, you do like two steps uh, and, uh, to our booth and you'll be able to see that exact demo and uh, you know, guarantee is going to, uh, to wow you. On the uh, content side, uh, right, so we, we can seamlessly upgrade your, your hardware uh, the same way we think we can seamlessly enhance any of your content. Uh, we have a SDK for, for, for Unity and, and, and Unreal and also a set of uh, native SDK we call for, for Windows or Android that allow us to upgrade really any uh, real-time rendering uh, engine. Um, and uh, including, uh, I think this year we're trying to pay close attention to, to VR. There's a lot of content has been created specifically for VR. The Steam VR has 5,000 games uh, on, the, on the store. Uh, the nice thing about VR games is that they were designed with a stereoscopy in mind, with the, with the depth in mind, right? They were actually games that were designed to be played in depth. Um, and we're working right now on a technology that would allow you to take any VR content, any VR game, and, and natively uh, visualizing them and playing them uh, on, our, on our platform. So that's going to be uh, a big deal. Aside from these tools for real-time 3D uh, rendering, we also have uh, a pretty awesome set of, uh, of, of algorithm, uh, the, the you know, most famous of which is the, the, what we call depth processing or 2D to 3D conversion. Uh, we can take any 2D picture, uh, such as this beautiful landscape here, uh, and in uh, about, I uh, think, from 10 to 20 uh, milliseconds, we generate a depth map with a, with a neural net, right? So there's no prior depth information just from the 2D picture. The neural net has seen so many 3D pictures in the past that it's able to very accurately create a depth map for the content. And once you have a depth map, you can create a 3D image, which would look very immersive on our displays, but here on the screen, I can use it to uh, change the, uh, the pixels, create some, some nice parallax, uh, or even some uh, Ken Burns effect here. You know, in its own right, it's actually pretty cool, right? So uh, we should probably embed that on, on the web uh, like some other companies do. Um, and perhaps even more amazing is we do this in real time, right? So in 2022, we bring that 2D, 3D conversion technology and we managed to do it in HD at 30 frames per second on a Snapdragon processor, right? Which means that uh, you can experience uh, the entirety of YouTube uh, on uh, one of our devices uh, with essentially uh, a super black like, 3D quality, real time converted, any, any content you want, right? Um, so this is... Uh, the fruit of many years of, of uh, many years of research, uh, and essentially the, the training. Because you know, at Leia, uh, we essentially have access to millions of 3D pictures that our community is posting uh, to our to our social networks. Uh, we managed to have that that database uh, to really refine the art of, of 2D to, to 3D conversion. 
So that in itself is creating infinite, you know, mass of, of content to be uh, to be enjoyed on our on, on our displays. So in addition to the software tools, the SDK to enable creators, we actually have also we made you know went went further and we developed a set of apps right now for Android, reporting most of them to to Windows as well. Uh, to do various fundamental things that you'd want to do in 3D. Okay, the first one, Leia Flix, is we uh, can stream 3D movies. We partner, we license content from Warner Brothers and Universal. You have about 100 premium titles uh, that you can experience on all of our devices uh, in, in, in native 3D. Leia Tube is a, that, that app that converts any streaming video content uh, to 3D, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo, Twitch, CNN, anything that streams video, you can experience it in 3D, right, for free on, on the device. Uh, Leia Link is a really interesting uh, app that's coming uh, live this summer that will allow you to do 3D chat between uh, either a Leia device to another Leia device in, in stereo, uh, or also from any device like an iPhone or uh, an Android phone, uh, to a Leia device using that 2D to 3D conversion. So again, the goal for us is to enable 3D chat for everybody in, in true stereo, meaning with, with you know, sense of depth uh, when you look at uh, one of our screen. Uh, we still maintain Leia Pix, which I think is the biggest social network for uh, 3D pictures uh, in, the, you know, in, the, in the world today. Um, and we have an app store also with the, you know, about 100, 100 games and you know, that, that will grow uh, with time. Um, and the reason we have these apps is not so much that we are uh, very aggressive into going to consumer space, but uh, we think of it as a starter package for our OEM partners uh, who wants to incorporate our displays into uh, their uh, devices and that they have the ability to white label or to take the, these apps and you know, that gives you a, a really decent starting point uh, you know, to essentially for them to have a consumer play. Well, let's so, go to LeiaTube first. Oh, this is just streaming just a YouTube video in 3D. The, my truck is, it's out of the screen. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something straight away because I watch a couple of videos here on this YouTube. Uh, it's just streaming. Like you just give it the link and somehow it's doing the work. You can adjust the depth. It's a real uh, 3D type of image. futuristic. I want to grab. It looks like layered as if this, uh, the display was far deeper than it actually is. Oh my God, those grapes look the, oh my God. Did you see this? Holy cow, that's the craziest one by far. Wave your hand in front of it, like as if you're gonna hit the pegs. Yeah, it looks like it's coming out here. Like in my mind, it looks like it's coming out here. Wow. So that was a you know excerpt from Unbox Therapy. The, the thing really works, right? And all this content is essentially 2D to, to 3D converted, whether it's the, the pictures or, or, or the videos. And again, you have it at the convenience of a, of a of this one was on, a, on our loom pad, right? It's just regular Android tablet. So it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Like, you know, the, the combination of what the, the hardware uh, and the software can, uh, can do. Okay. So um, again, our core business is to enable OEMs, right? Uh, in various industries, right? We list, you know, essentially all the possible like industries there and, and more, you know, from, from uh, let's say, uh, uh, you know, uh, automotive, uh, gaming, uh, teleconference, healthcare, education, and so on and so forth. Uh, and essentially our, our business model is to partner with, with these companies, uh, with you guys, right? To partner, to, to enable your devices uh, and to uh, be able to also help you uh, with, the, uh, with the content. Uh, the very first uh, announced partnership has been a couple of years already. We're working with these uh, guys. This is Continental, the big German tier one for automotive. Uh, we've developed uh, automotive grade uh, light field display uh, with Conti, and we're working hard now to incorporate them in, in cars. You know, should be uh, coming uh, online next year. Whether it's for the so-called instrument cluster, the display that's in front of you, uh, the central display, or even the, the co-driver. Uh, but perhaps more interestingly is uh, the, uh, the content uh, that we're bringing, the movies, the games, and so on. You know, every time that uh, it's, it's legal to be able to distribute these things in the car, uh, we essentially are going to be offering uh, a solution, right? Uh, Conti is a very interesting for us. It's the, the model uh, that we want to follow with others in other industries, right? It's been a, a very fruitful partnership, uh, and this is a model that we're trying to, uh, to uh, replicate, right? So in order to facilitate this OEM adoption, uh, what we're doing this year is we're making available uh, a suite of development platforms 
uh, essentially uh, displays of different sizes uh, that come in form of a demo unit uh, that uh, our OEM partners can, uh, can, can purchase and play with and we help you with content. Um, starting from uh, a monitor, a 15.6 inch that was uh, revealed at uh, Display Week a couple of weeks ago and that we're showing right now uh, in, our, in, in our booth. Um, uh, at the end of this month, we're gonna make available a 12.4 inch uh, tablet, essentially again as a reference design uh, for, uh, for folks to uh, you know, work with uh, mobile and, uh, and, and on an Android platform. Um, later in July, we're super excited. Uh, we're going to release a, a 5K uh, automotive grade uh, demo unit also, which I think is going to be the best 3D display that people will have ever, ever seen. It's just very crisp. Resolution, it's going to be 150 PPI in 3D, so I think it's going to beat all the, the records and we're super excited about this one. Um, starting uh, the second part of the year, we're bringing mini LED uh, technology to our display. So mini LED is, uh, you know, was popularized by Apple, it's the, the technology that is powering the, the MacBook Pro and the, I think the, the latest, the big iPad. Uh, and it's essentially a backlighting technology for LCD that gives you OLED type contrast uh, in, and, 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 and brightness and uh, essentially uh, HDR capability. So we're bringing this uh, to our technology and you know, starting the, the second part of the year, you're gonna be able uh, to get our displays with that type of, 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 of contrast. So it's uh, very, very exciting. Uh, at the end of the year, we're going even bigger uh, and we're gonna make available a 27 inch uh, monitor, also, also mini LED. Uh, perhaps the most uh, exciting things of all is we're working currently on a feature that we call local, local 3D, right? So, so far as displays have been switching between 2D mode at full resolution and the entire screen is 2D, or 3D mode, and again, the entire screen will switch to, to 3D. In 3D, we know the resolution is lower. What the local 3D feature is going to do is it's going to allow you to select any area on your screen uh, to show 3D and the rest of the screen is going to be uh, to stay 2D at the full resolution. So it's a dream come true for UI. Whenever you have text, you want to be in 2D high resolution and then whenever you want to have, you know, in retail, in, in game and so on, you want to have a floating hologram for lack of a better word uh, and then you can decide where you want to place it in your, in your screen. So it's all coming online. Uh, this year, we decided to announce at this conference uh, because if there's interest, uh, these, these units are going really, really fast. Uh, the 15.6 inch, essentially, as soon as we built them, they were all gone. So we're trying to gauge interest early on. And so definitely, um, if you are interested, you should stop at our booth, uh, number 125, I think all the way straight when you, when you enter at the, at the back. Uh, experience the 15.6 the inch and you know get in touch with our with our team we would really want to work with you and encourage you to to get in touch so thanks for your attention and I'll open it for for questions Kendra where have you seen the most success? Like what vertical, what industry? Who's been gobbling this up? Yeah, so officially the Conti, right? So the automotive, I think a lot of people associate us with automotive. Um, so that's, that's because, because it's been announced. Uh, this year, looking at uh, these new displays, uh, definitely what I would call the 3D chat or telepresence. A lot of companies trying to provide better sense of presence uh, are now uh, you know, discussing with us because when you see, and you need to see it in person of course, but um, when you see, the, when you see the, the content on that new display, it just feels like you're, you're in front of the person and it's creating a, the really a type of emotional connection that simply you don't have on, on, on 2D, right? So I would, I would you know, that's, that's the one I would rank the, I would rank the highest. And, and the second one is gaming. You know, gaming is always, is always there. Um, surprisingly, maybe not the uh, AAA PC title, but VR gaming. And VR gaming is what we see, uh, you know, the industry is kind of, you know, trying to understand how you can play VR games onto a normal uh, platform, you know, a PC, a, a monitor. And so that's the, uh, that's the, the, the second one in our, in our, in our ranks. Yeah. Okay, if no other question, thank you very much for your attention. Booth 125, please you know, come and we'll give you a demo. <laughs>